What is up guys, Bielk here, and today we're back in action playing some Resonant Rise. And uh, today's gonna be freaking amazing. So we're a little bit away from the base. And uh, I'm just kind of like exploring and doing some stuff. Uh, also, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point, make sure to go ahead and click the like button. It would really help me out. And I love y'all's faces freaking forever. Uh, so off camera, uh, someone gave me the idea. They said I should add an auto smelt to this. And the luck actually affects the auto smelt. So let's go ahead and mine one of these guys. And look, we got three gold ingots. So this actually, I think it, it, it averages about three. Uh, usually uh, over a long period of time here and but uh, yeah the the auto smelt is really cool um, I don't have to actually uh, you know smell stuff so yeah I've been mining with this also in the nether uh, the quartz automatically just turns into quartz so I have like 15 stacks of quartz uh, back at the base and I went mining in the nether earlier it was pretty sweet um, and I yeah I can you can still do like the shift and stuff I just haven't really been look at this but you know from this little bit of gold we have 49 ingots which is pretty sweet and look at that, yeah, nice. Uh, I'm actually looking for some bunnies. Um, <laughs> so okay, something happened to our our horse, uh, Shadowsteed, and uh, so I, I I need to find him or like get another horse. I don't know what happened to him, but yeah, something happened to Shadowsteed, and then I need to actually I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get some. Oh, holy crap! Do you guys see that? Oh, uh, stuff and things, stuff and things. Uh, <laughs> oh, look, diamonds! Yeah, give me those diamonds, baby. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm trying to find some bunnies because I'm pretty sure they do like uh, Super humpy time like automatically forever like you don't have to like breed them or anything And I think they give I don't know if they give food in doctor's arcs, but I thought it'd be, it might be kind of cool even though you know like the, the hunting and Eating of bunnies is is a very cruel sport, but uh, you know like we gotta we gotta stay alive uh, Well, what is this blue hydrangeas? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Anyways, I'm gonna search around and uh, I'm gonna find some stuff, and I think we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff today. So uh, yeah, I'll be back here in a second. Okay, so I went back to the base. I made some saddles because I found these horses, and what I want to do is uh, let's uh, let's uh, put a saddle on you, man, and then let's be like, uh, boom. Here, let me let me ride you. Let me let here take the apple, man. Take the apple, bro. Why why you know why you know take apple, man? Here take. Take the stinking apple, bro. Okay, fine. Fine. You want to act like that? That's fine. That's fine. Here, I i don't even want you anymore. Boom. And, oh, I gave you a thing. Uh, we will call you uh, nothing. We won't call you anything. We just need you for breeding purposes. We'll call you... Hi, my... Wait, wait. Hi, my name is Jeff. <laughs> Okay, hello Jeff. Nice to meet you, man. I guess I guess we can't uh, get the zebra yet. Wait a second. Let me let me get on Jeff here, and then I think there's like some kind of tier system with horses. Like, can I feed you stuff while I'm on this horse? Maybe not. Whatever. We'll keep him. We'll keep him. We'll drag him back to the base, and then I actually I want to get uh, this guy. This guy will replace Shadow Steed here. Let's uh, do Shadow. Oh nope. Shadow Steed. Nice, there we go. So we got Shadow Steed. We got my name. Hi, my name is Jeff. And then we have Zebra Pants over here. So yeah, we're gonna drag all these guys back to the base, I think. Look at this. We found a cute little bunny. Hey, bunny. I'll name you Sam. Hey, bunny. Your name is Sam. And you're on top of my head, man. Look at that. Look, you can just. Oh, hey, Sam. You can stick them on top of your head, and they're like, oh, look, it's not a little bunny. Here, come here, little bunny. There you go. You're now mine, little bunny. So I've been collecting some animals. I have like a turkey in here. I figured, hey, we'll make a turkey farm or something, and then we have a bunny, and we're going to make a beautiful little bunny farm. Oh, look, there's a snake, too. So yeah, and also I see like ducks and stuff over here. So I, I guess ducks are a thing now, too. So that's cool. I love Dr. Zarks. They had so many cool things. Okay, guys, we're back. So what I've been doing off camera is I moved all the animals out of here. And I've been making up a little pen. So we have a sheep pen. Uh, we have a pig pen. Uh, we got a cow. And then I got some mushrooms over here. And then right here we got some chickens. I also threw some, some ducks and bunnies in here just because I don't have, like, an appropriate place for them. Um, I don't think bunnies are actually really useful. I haven't seen them, like, breed or do anything yet. So Plus, I don't think they drop anything. So I might just keep those two as pets. We have Sam and then ASF. I think I lost the original bunny on <laughs> uh, since I showed you guys the beginning. But, yeah, we have chickens. And then we have turkeys, which is cool. I love turkey. We're about to eat a delicious turkey dinner right now. Yes. And we have some... Um, 
horses. Uh, this is going to be the start of the horse, I guess, breeding. Uh, we haven't actually bred any. Uh, so I just got the wild horse over here. He actually isn't tamed. Uh, the zebra right there. So yeah, and this guy isn't tamed either. I guess you guys know because there's no like name bar stuff under him. But yeah, I, I started the animal pens and I did it's definitely really it was needed. Um, we needed an appropriate place, like a bigger place to breed and stuff. And I'm gonna revert these guys back to um, crops and stuff. And then yeah, that's pretty sweet. Let's come over here. Actually, let's check our fishing thing. We haven't checked our fishing thing in a while. Uh, let's come over here and check this guy out. Uh, boom. Uh, yeah, we got some stuff. I've been using some of the stuff in there. Uh, four, I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> We're about to have a dedicated fisher here in a second. It's gonna be freaking amazing. So I got everything prepared. Uh, we are about to turn this, this is a harvest, uh, a harvest core right here. We're about to turn it into a fishing core. I have everything here. Uh, let's just go ahead and boom, there we go. It should. Oh wait, no, 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 not ready yet. What am I missing? I'm missing a, I'm missing a puffer fish. Uh, dang it. Okay, let's go grab a puffer fish real quick. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I've just, oh, look, hey, there's a tree. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's cut this guy down. Uh, oh, there we go. So, yeah, I switched back to jungle trees. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. We're getting a bunch of, uh, charcoal and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this guy. And then, actually, uh, these jungle saplings, I can turn a couple of these into apples. We might make an orchard. That might be cool. Let me grab, let me grab five of these guys. Also, let me grab these grapes as well. Uh, we're going to make some apple trees, I guess, and uh, plant them around. That'll be a nice little source of food, and it'll be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and grab some apples. Uh, boom, apples, and then I think it's just something like this, right? No? No? I thought, can you not make apple trees? I know you can make, like, persimmon trees and stuff. Uh, hmm, hops. Oh, that that's how you make it. Oh, that's extra trees. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I thought that was a thing. Uh, it, it is a thing. It used to be a thing. I just looked it up a second ago. I guess you can't do it with apples, or maybe you have to turn these into, like, apple cores or something. Whatever. Let's go ahead and get a puffer fish. Um, do I not have a puffer fish right here? Let's go come down here and grab to puffer fish. And, uh, boomy. There we go. Nice. I'm really excited about this because, um, apparently the stronger the golem is, the faster he actually fishes. So I'm kind of ex excited to see how fast he actually fishes. It might be really cool. I might actually have to set up like some kind of vacuum hopper or something on this as well. So we'll see. I want to test them out though. Let's go ahead and put that here. Let's boomy. There we go. So this guy is going to start grabbing some aqua. It needs 15 aqua. There we go. I should. I think I had like 18. Yeah, or 17. There we go. We got all the aqua here. Come on. Oh yeah. Now we're getting uh, the the uh, no the meta the met or meadow. We're getting the meto. And now we're getting the bestia here. Nice. Nice. I love seeing the infusions. They look so cool. <laughs> and then I have uh, the an iron golem. This guy is one of the strongest golems. I think uh, the thumb golem is actually just as strong. I'm not sure. Let's see. So strength high, and then the strength on this is high as well. Uh, so yeah, I think he's going to be pretty good. So yeah, look at this. Look at this. Fishing. Yes. Let's go ahead and set this guy up. So I don't know if this guy can actually use a normal or like a Envar reinforced fishing rod. I'm planning on giving him like a... Um, enchanted fishing rod but let's go ahead and set him down i'm gonna set him down like right beside this guy let's just set him down and then let's uh i'm gonna give him the golem animation fishing core there we go and then uh hey look oh no he already has a fishing rod no 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 you're really dumb you're dumb here, let me let me reorientate you, man. Let's slowly watch the wild golem in his natural habitat. Come on, little golem. So, <laughs> so I've set him up correctly. Uh, he fishes now, and I made a little item collector and a chest for all the stuff to go into. So hopefully, whatever the fish like flies by in the air, it, the chest will automatically collect it. Uh, I'm hoping this will work. Anyways, I've seen him catch one fish. You guys can probably see it down there. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how much he's going to collect, but I still think it's kind of neat uh, We'll see how well it does like over time Okay, so my next order of business is I kind of want to make a little mini mob farm because I really need some like rotten flesh and some other stuff and uh, I don't have a way to get it 
So uh, I was thinking, let's use these conveyor belts. I've never used them before, and I think mobs can still spawn on top of the conveyor belts. So we're going to try to set up just a little basic dark room. And then what I really want it is it's going to be kind of like a training ground. So we're going to we're gonna start the, a little training ground area, and I'm probably even going to build like targets and that kind of stuff. I might not finish it today. Actually, today is the next day after a couple clips ago or whatever. My grandfather was here yesterday, and uh, he was here until like super late, so I didn't really get time to record much yesterday. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and start that. I think it'll be really cool. Uh, as you guys see, I'm leveling up my short bow and um, getting my arrows and stuff. And then I want to see, is there like a training dummy or something? Uh, tr uh, let's see. Training. Oh, yeah, there is. Look at this. A training dummy. And then we have uh, DecoCraft as a training dummy. And nice. Okay, we can set up some cool stuff. What about like a target or whatever? Uh, target. Uh, let's see. Is there like a... A target or something. It doesn't look like it. lightning red. Wait, quiver bow. Quiver bow. Qui sun ray sets dark on fire. What is? We need to get into this quiver bow. Obviously, actually, let me let me relook this target thing up. Nightly pick. Uh, yeah, let's look up a uh, quiver bow. Oh, uh, holy flaming balls. Um, holy crap, guys. There is a lot of stuff here. That looks really cool. An Ender Rifle, uh, a Dragon Mortar. Oh, wait, wait. I think I've seen this before. Oh, wow. Look at this. 120 to 150 damage hit. This looks amazing. Um, we need a arsenal now. I, I need to make like a armory. So we need a training field and an armory. I think those are going to be the next projects on the list. Anyways, I think I'm going to try to uh, figure out how to start on the, the training field here. And I'll be back here in a second. Okay, we're back, guys. So I've done a lot more work on the, the thing over there. We'll go check it out here in a second. I'm just going to use all this bone mill real quick, get a bunch of wheat. And uh, we're actually going to use this to make the training dummies. Uh, let's uh, come back out here. Boom, training dummies. Uh, we need some leather tunics. Let's just make, I think for now, we'll make like four. I, I don't know. We'll make like four of these guys, possibly. Maybe five. Uh, let's... Yeah, we'll start with four. Four is fine. Oh, oh, Eureka. I'll make you another tool to replace your old one. You should think of a way to make a tool that won't break. Huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, make some trading dummies here. Uh, boomy, and then boomy, and then boomy. There we go. We got a trading dummy. Nice. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these. I wonder if they actually do anything. I'm kind of excited about seeing like what they actually do. Um, Let's go ahead and come over here. Now, this whole this whole area, I'm probably gonna have to work a little bit off camera because I'm running severely out of time. Time uh, as the uh, as the episode is supposed to be up here in about two hours or so. So the episode today might be a little bit late. Uh, but let's just for now, I just want to see like what they do. Um, uh, so like if I, oh I see, I just hit it and it does stuff, man. Like uh, I wonder if this actually counts as a thing. Let's see. Like so, I have six or wait, let me see. I have 764 XP right now. Does that actually do anything? No, it doesn't. But it's still kind of cool. We'll have to make like a whole little area right here. Uh, but yeah, I got this guy. Now, the one problem with this that I forgot is mobs, you have to be, I think, 24 blocks away. So yeah, they're only going to spawn when I'm like over here or whatever. So I should have actually put this deeper in the mountain. I might worry about that later. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're just going to kind of seal this up. Let's go ahead and just do a little bit of... Um, how do I want to do this? We'll like do a little bit of this and then let's bring it up all the way over here. Two, uh, three, and full. And boomy, boomy, and let me go ahead and uh, get this guy. One, two, three. Oh, I am destroying everything. Holy crappy. Uh, there we go. Okay, sweet. So uh, this has an entrance now. Let's go ahead and fill this guy back up. Boomy. And then uh, now we need to do the conveyor belts. The conveyor belts go like the opposite way of what you're facing, kind of. Wait, wait, is this. Yeah, okay, yeah, never mind. They go the way you're facing. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. So, we got conveyor belts all the way to the end. And then, uh, let's go ahead and make this uh, look a little bit nicer. I'll fix this up off camera. Now, what we want to do is let's uh, do something like so. This way they can't hit us. And uh, let's close this off like this. Something like that. Um, hmm, I'm not sure how we want to do it. Maybe we'll, like, do something like this. Yeah, look at that. So it's completely dark in here. 
uh, let's let's go away. I don't know how well this is gonna work. It might not work that well because I've done this weird. We might have to end up making a sky one. But really, like my plans was, I want to make a sky one eventually. Anyways, we're gonna make it like a really legit mob farm. Uh, but for now, I just wanted something to be able to get some stuff. Uh, I just need some stuff like uh, rotten flesh to make like some fertilized soil and stuff. Oh yeah, I like where I flatten this area out too. It's really cool. Um, let's. Can you break these once you place them down? Can you like break them? No, it doesn't look like you can. Um. Sure, why not? Let's we'll just place a couple of these guys. And then see, one, two, three, boom. Oh, these guys are so cool. I like them. I like them. A little trading field. Uh, we'll make it look nice, I promise. Um, looks like nothing is spawning, though. So I could have just, uh, just, this could have been useless. Uh, I'm pretty sure, that, I'm almost positive they can spawn on the conveyor belt. So maybe, maybe it's just I haven't waited long enough. Let's just, uh, let's just sit over here for a while and see what happens. Do you guys see anything? Let's zoom in. I don't see anything. I don't see anything happening whatsoever. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, we're back. And you guys can probably tell what we're about to do. We're about to do the, the, the thing to get the cursed earth. So we're gonna put a pig here. We're gonna sacrifice them and boom, we get all kinds of stuff. Now, let's before, before they spawn, before they spawn here, let's, uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, oh, wait, wait, there's no, there's no creatures. There's no creatures, okay, we're good. We're good, we don't really need that much, much cursed earth here. Uh, maybe I can actually, uh, let me, let me get out my shovel here. This is not as, that bad at all. This isn't that bad at all. Um, uh, okay, well let's just get some cursed earth then. <laughs> so I decided, uh, since that won't spawn anything, we're just gonna do the, the, the things on the left and right and turn it into cursed earth, so that'll be pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I guess let me clean this up and then I'm gonna put cursed earth in here like right inside of here I need to kill this other side and then we should get plenty of monster spawns. That'll be freaking amazing Okay, I'm back. So I guess cursed earth is different in resonant rise or maybe in the an updated version of extra utilities because It's not working. Uh, no mobs are spawning as you see it's starting to spread a little bit and I am on difficulty hard, so uh, I just checked that a second ago, so I don't know what it is. Uh, no mobs are just spawning at all, so I'm not sure exactly what to do. If you guys have any hints uh, on what I'm doing wrong, then that would be freaking fantastic. Uh, yeah, because this should work. Actually, mobs should just spawn on the conveyor belts themselves, and they weren't. So maybe there's like some kind of weird light rules going on, but it's completely pitch dark. And I don't know, maybe Dr. Zark has something to do with it. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm out of time, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. We did a lot of different stuff today, and it was freaking fun hanging out with you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you go ahead and click the like button. It really helped me out. Um, I love y'all's faces, and I'll see you guys next time. Let's see what this guy has caught. Oh, wow, yeah, he's caught quite a bit of stuff. Let's see. Oh, we got a punch one short bow. Nice. Um, and we got some salmon and some clownfish and some puffer fish. He's just going to town, isn't he? Uh, yeah, so we have two different ways of getting fish now. Uh, I think I kind of like the golem way better. These guys are actually really cool. I like him because he's just kind of like doing stuff. It's like he's alive and, you know, doing stuff in the background while I'm doing stuff. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we did a lot of stuff today. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.